Okay, Tov, good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. So, how many matzot do you need to have at the Seder? And that's actually a fair question uh, to, to, to term that way. Do you need to have? Uh, and the answer might not be three. But how many do we have? And the answer is three. Um, do you need to have unclear uh, because you could perhaps uh, suffice with fewer uh, and just uh, you have you have two matzot and you break one and the Gemara actually describes that uh, indeed we don't because matzah is lechem oni is poor person's bread we uh, we would not go with your usual requirement of two whole loaves for uh, for making hamotzi on at the meal uh, and nonetheless nonetheless it was already known at the time of the gaonim that there were three matzot. And this is what the Gemara, um, what, what the, the, it's described in the following question, that the people of Kiron, Kiron, <laughs> people of Kiron, that's the name of the place, asked Rav Shrira Gaon, why do we, so this goes back to the Gaonic times, in the, uh, let's say, the uh, late uh, 8th century, 9th century, I don't know when Rav Shira lived, why do we take three matzot Balel Pesach, no more, fewer and no more? And his response, or Sri Ragon's explanation was, that it takes us back to the night, <coughs> the time, excuse me, the time that the angels came to um, meet Avraham and Sarah to tell them what he told them, both about preparing them for Sodom and also about the child that they were going to have, namely Yitzchak. And by tradition, this happened on... Pesach, that happened on Pesach, um, and and there was described that Avraham said, "Mahari shalosh seim kemach solet, get three saas of uh, of of uh, flour to be able to make into ugot, which we understand to be ugot matzot, into these cakes of matzah." So it describes three seim, and so it's presumed that there were somehow three matzos. Um, that was at least at least the reference to us that there were three matzot then, and we should uh, commemorate that at our seder. Very interesting. The later explanation offered by the Ari and the um, and the Kabbalists was that the three matzot correspond to the parts of the of Israel, Kohen, Levi, and uh, Yisrael, um, and that. Uh, also relates somehow to the higher sphere of, of the mochin of the uh, the in intelligence um, God intelligence uh, spheres as well. So they, they've taken on a very different symbolism in a kabbalistic way. Two very um, different explanations. Uh, but what we think about other than the plain matzah in our hands, and it can harken either to the higher realms or to back in our history, uh, and perhaps worthy of our noting at the at the seder this year. Have a great day.